this is the only machine of its type in the country. A new tool for the use in the ongoing effort to manage weeds in cropping systems Australia-wide. The need for this type of device is predominantly driven by the increased herbicide resistance that we're getting in Australian cropping. Herbicide resistance is especially problematic in Australia's northern farming systems, where glyphosate has been relied on for fallow weed control. The North now has the highest number of herbicide resistant weed species compared to other regions. So GRDC invested in the development of a new non-herbicide weed control option, a tillage machine that could target weeds. The R&D of this project is a partnership effort led by uh, Michael Walsh at the University of Sydney and I lead the engineering at the University of Western Australia and we have researchers also involved um, at QDAF in Toowoomba and farmer groups who advise us as well. Proof of concept came in the shape of a hydraulically activated, spring-loaded, one-time weed chipping prototype. This is the actual machine in 2016 at a UWA research facility. However, what was needed for a large-scale version was a durable multi-tine system. So the engineering team looked to an old farming favourite for their inspiration, the Shearer Trash Worker. Together with my colleague, uh, Dr Carlo Perasini at the University of Western Australia, we worked on trying to make that system very uh, simple but robust and then in partnership with a hydraulics company, David Nowlin Hydraulics, um, to look at how we could modify the hydraulic circuitry and then add some springs to the system to enable that single actuating tine to be held in a standby position just above the ground and when a weed is seen by a triggering device such as a camera, those hydraulics trigger um, the solenoid enables the tine to go down very quickly into the soil and then return to the standby ready for that all to happen again. Development of the technology to trigger the hydraulics wasn't included in the project scope, so commercially available vision technology was partnered with the machine for its first large-scale field evaluation, this time at Narrabri on the University of Sydney's farm, Lara. One camera is controlling five tines. The tines spread over two rows on the cultivator bar and when it encounters a patch or a number of weeds, they will just trigger it. As well as evaluating the entire unit, these trials will be used to fine tune the cameras to reduce excessive cultivation. The machine's operating speed is slow compared to a spot sprayer but running at 10 kilometres per hour means fewer passes are required as it can target weeds at any growth stage. It's been calibrated to chip out weeds at densities of one plant per 10 square metres with convincing results. The trials that we've done with our colleagues at QDAP in Toowoomba and here in Narrabri have shown very high weed kill efficacy near essentially 100% across a range of problematic species and the only instances where that wasn't super successful was actually due predominantly to the shape of that sweep not being ideally suited, but that's an area that can be overcome. The sweep's impact force and design is also being fine-tuned to minimise soil disturbance, while still inverting weeds to expose their roots to the hot, dry conditions, which is when the machine should be used as part of a grower's weed management strategy. This device predominantly seems to have application in an uh, integrated weed management system, one in which you probably still are using spot spraying and then periodically introducing something like this to get rid of those herbicide resistant weeds. And uh, as we move towards, say, some of those things that will be coming like swarms of robots weeding in the future. Until then, grain growers across the entire country can look forward to the commercial release of machines such as this in the near future. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.